can I give you one of these? Um, every year in Texas, there's over 60,000 abortions. Um, and we're trying to show people that they are babies, they are children, they're humans, you know? And this is what happens, and they're being murdered, you know? So we're trying to uh, just bring awareness that they are people, and every child is created in the image of God, and no child should be murdered, right? No stronger people group should have power over a weaker people group and say who can live and who should die, because we're all created in God's image, you know? So, hey, you're welcome. Thanks for listening. What school do you guys go to? No, sir. Uh, is that a middle school? Yes, sir. Yeah. Did you get one of these the other day? Uh, Can I give you one? It talks about abortion and how it's the number one cause of death in Texas and how we should not, we should make it illegal. So, or this one talks about slavery here in Texas. I'll take that one. This one? Yeah. All right, cool, cool. Thank you. Yeah, you're welcome, man. One of these? Can I give you one? It talks about how abortion is the number one cause of death here in Texas, over 60,000 a year, and uh, how good men should make it illegal. We should oppose it, right? Okay. Every baby was created in the image of God. You know, no stronger group of people should say what weaker group of people should be killed. You know, like, you shouldn't kill people. Thanks for taking it, man. Did you get one of these yesterday? You did? Oh, cool. Thanks, man. Hey, God bless you. Thank you. Hey, man. Hey, did you get one of these yesterday? Got one? Hey, and check this one out. It's about how uh, we used to be able to own black people in Texas and uh, how that was wrong and how we shouldn't, like, okay. kill people and, you know. Yeah. But thanks, man. Hey, man. Yeah. Here. So here, uh, let me give you one of these to read. It used to be um, legal to own black people in Texas. You could kill them, you could rape them, you could do whatever you want, right? That's like a, a person who has greater power suppressing people with less power. And that's what this talks about also. Can I give you one, ma'am? Yeah, so. um, I'm, not, I'm not against y'all's cause, but like coming to school in the morning and then seeing this is not horrible, what right? we yeah. need to see in the morning. Yeah, but you know it's the number one cause of death in Texas? and the, Abortion. Yeah, there's 60,000 of them every year in Texas alone. Just in Texas alone. In fact, in the United States, more people die from abortion every year than every war America has ever fought in combined. Like if you add up every single war since the Civil War, since the independence, yeah, there's 1.2 million every year here in the United States. And that doesn't um, talk about, that. that's not plan B, you know, where, where you get pregnant and then it like flushes out the, the conceived baby. So it's the number one cause of death. And so I spent oh, almost a year out at the abortion clinic every day, Monday through Friday. And I would see teenage high school girls there all day long, you know. That's their fault. So, it, well, it is their fault, right? They, they shouldn't do it. So, but, but you know what? Most of them never seen what an abortion looks like. Most of them don't know. You know, like their pastors and their churches will say they're pro-life, but they don't really do anything to stop it. You know, like right now there's a bill in, in uh, the Senate um, that we're trying to get passed to make abortion illegal, just like to make slavery illegal. And um, so, but you know, most of the churches and Christians, they, nobody really cares, you know? I mean, they just don't care. And so the Bible says that every child was created in the image of God, that he knew you in your mother's womb, and to expose evil, and nobody wants to see this, right? But a lot of people think showing the pictures is worse than what actually is happening. But it's not, like during the uh, Martin Luther King day, or Martin Luther King, uh, during the, uh, when they were trying to get all their freedoms, you know, like be able to vote and stuff like that here in America, um, they were beat and they would show pictures of black men that were beat and people would say, well, don't show that. That's not right. And they go, well, what's worse that black men are being beat <laughs> or that somebody showing a picture of it. Like we're just trying to show what's acceptable in society. This is acceptable in society. You can have an abortion in Texas at any age. All they have to say is for the life of the mother. So we're just trying to expose this evil that's going on. And these are all the lies that are told. You know, this book. So what do you think, man? My crazy idiot. Yeah. Well, nah. It's just. It's crazy, right? Yeah. I mean, look. 
Look, man, you show a four-year-old baby what this is, and you know what they say? They've never seen it. They go, baby. It's a baby. <laughs> you know why? Because in your heart, in your soul, in your spirit, you know what that is, man. That's a baby. That's created after the image of God. You're created after the image of God. But you know what? All these Christians, nobody wants to do anything about it. So what we say is that the church needs to repent. You know, that the church needs to stand up. That good, godly men need to oppose. Hi, ma'am. Can I give you one of these, please? Yeah, thank you. Please? Yeah. No, okay. All right. So, I mean, people just don't care, right? We should care. Godly men should care. We're supposed to protect our cities, our towns, our, our state. You know, that's what godly men are supposed to do, right? Not let women getting raped all over the place or, you know, black men being hung from trees like they used to do in Texas. That used to be legal. Like, you could own a black man and hang him if he, like, talked back to you. And everybody would be like, yeah, that's fine. But the abolitionist, I already, I already gave you one of the abolitionist ones, right? The abolitionist says, no, everybody's created in God's image. And you can't beat a, another man. It doesn't matter if he's yellow or black or, you know, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter what age he is, you know? So abolitionists just want to honor God and follow God and do what God says. And the Bible says that that's murder. Yeah, it is murder. <laughs> right here. Good talking to you too, man.